So if you're anything like me, odds are you're spending a good chunk of your day in Outlook or Gmail, but I bet you could be more effective and free up time to focus on the work that matters. Maria Camila Galvis of TechSoup Latin America will show us three practical tips to make working in Outlook even easier. And this is Maria. I work for TechSoup Latin America and we help nonprofits get involved to technology so they adapt to a digital world. What I've seen in the donations program is that generally the organizations don't use the full capabilities of the technology and we keep with the basic functions. What I want to share you today is everything that you can do on Outlook web, which we normally use just to do back and forth email, but it actually has a lot of innovative tools that will make your life and your work routine be way too much easier. So right now, what you can see is an email of my colleague who is sending me a document with a very clear task. So he says, please find here the document our, of our conversation and please review and feel free to make any changes. So did you know that if you're in Outlook web and select the words you need with the call to action very clear, you will find four options above. So I would click in the last one and it means that this particular task will be added to your to-do list. And where can you find your to-do list? Here at the left-hand side, there's a shortcut with that check mark icon. This is the to-do list that I usually use every single day is the first thing that I open to see what are my painting items. So another example I want to bring is when you have a very informative email, I uh, will show you this one uh, for you to know, I got permission. This is not confidential information. Uh, this email, which is longer, can have a lot of information and probably you can maybe want to, maybe you want to ask about something. It will be easier if you select the paragraph you would like to answer. And then you will see the four options again. And this time I will just click on reply all. So when you click on reply all, you will see this selected paragraph and you can reply over that specific paragraph that you want to ask something about. This is very useful and, and I actually uh, use it a lot. Uh, and then you can find some other features in the settings of your Outlook web. So I will share with you the ones that I want. So if you click here in the view all Outlook settings, then you click here on compose a reply. You will find a, where you add your signature. You just go scroll down a little bit. And then there is an option that it's called undo send. So I think it has happened to a lot of people that you suddenly send the email that you have been preparing for a long time. And maybe you had a misspelling or whatever. Uh, maybe you typed 2022 and it was 2023 and that just changed the whole sense of your email. So you can actually set this to add five seconds or 10 seconds for you to basically regret. This is, the, you can't imagine how useful it has been for me. It has it saved me for, from a lot of moments. So I have it here for five seconds. You can also set this for 10 seconds. It means that when you click send, you have five seconds to just recover back your email, correct what you need and send it again. And the last one, the last is feature that I really like and I want to share with you is in calendar setting. So when you go to calendar, you can add different time zone. I work for TechSoup. Uh, so it's very normal to feel a little bit overwhelmed when you have someone in Varsov and then someone in Brazil and you have to create a, a, a call. You have to schedule a call. Sometimes it's, it's really difficult. The time zones are very different. So here I'll teach you how to do it. You will see here a, an option to add a time zone. Let's add here Brasilia for the example. Then you add the label, so I'll put VR, 
and then save. So next time you go to your calendar, you will be able to see your local time and also the other time zones that you added. Here you can see that probably the best time to uh, schedule a call for someone in Polonia, in Brazil and in Colombia, you will just, you will just need to scroll down and see what's the best time that will work for you. So those are the features I wanted to bring today for you. I really hope that you can explore and use these tips because it really helped you get more efficient. And I believe that when you get more efficient, especially working for the social sector, it means that you get and achieve your mission in a better way. So if you are in Latin America, please send me an email. I'll send you my email in the chat so I can tell you what are the offers we have in TechSoup Latin America, our services and our training for uh, to take advantage of the technology. Thank you very much.